Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to map base and sub UM with the item. But before that, let us understand what is UOM. So UOM stands for unit of measurement and it can be varied from item to item. Suppose a supermarket has two items, atta and ghee. So atta will be measured in kg and ghee will be measured in liters. Hence, the kg and liters are their UOM respectively. Now we will learn what are the benefits of mapping the item versus UOM screen. This particular module is used to map the items with their UOM and even it can be done for the multiple items at once. For an example, if one supermarket has different items but with the same UOM. So, with the help of this option, we can map all the items with the same UOM at once. So now let's proceed up with the steps. Firstly, we are going to see how to create UOM for the item. For this, go to Inventory, Master, Conversion UOM and Conversion Master. This Conversion Master will get open. Now mention the name of UOM you want to create. Suppose we are creating liters. So we have mentioned liters and in type we will select UOM and then click on save. Now click on yes to confirm the changes. Similarly we will create the sub UOM for the liters. Now we will mention milliliter and press enter. Now again select UOM from the drop down. Similarly click on save and save the changes. So this is how you can create UOM for the items. Now to map the items with their UOM we will go to inventory, masters, again to the conversion UOM and will select item versus base UOM. Now as you can see item versus base and sub UOM window will appear where the first option is select an option. Which means in this window you are going to load all the unmapped items or the mapped items. So we will select unmapped and in item list we will select all items and now in base UOM we will select the base UOM for the items as per the requirement. Suppose I am selecting kg and for the sub UOM I am selecting grams. Now we need to enter sub UM conversion which means we need to enter the measurement of sub UM. Suppose enter 1000 which means in 1 kg there are 1000 grams. Then press enter and now select the items for which the UM needs to be mapped. Suppose select ATA 10 kg. And the software will automatically pick the base M sub UOM. Similarly, we can load some more items in it. Suppose I have loaded these all items and simply click on save to save the changes. Now, as you can see, software is giving the indication that UOM is mapped. So, this is how you can map base and sub UM into the items. 